we show some distance, distancing, but okay, we on. are in the studio with Jay Sean Getty. He has an awesome testimony, a wonderful story, and I just thought that it would be nice to get him in the studio so he can just share some of his story. He's a producer here um, at the studio, and when he told me how God moved in his life, when he said what made him know that it was God, go ahead and tell us. A little bit about yourself, where you're from, whatever you'd like for us to know. Uh, like I said, my name is Jay Sean Gaddy, mm -hmm. and I am a um, member here at Access 21. I've been here for over, over about over about 10 years, mm -hmm. whatever. I have been involved with the basic studio class, editing, all the classes, basically. And I have... Um, and one of the things that got me here was through my vocational services. And that was to find me a job in the uh, broadcasting field. Oh, wow. Because I graduated from East Carolina as a broadcaster major. Okay. But in 2001, I had a brain aneurysm. And so that kind of took me out of Because you were telling me <laughs> that, you know, you had gone to college and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um. I guess you were living, you were roommating or what have we? You're right, yep. I was in my apartment, and I think at the time I, um, I started having, like, a lot of headaches and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And um, the night before, I was out, you know, in the club, and then I think somebody, one of my people said, I was complaining a lot about headaches, and so I left early. Mm -hmm. And so then the next day, that next evening, I... Uh, I was in a kitchen and I passed out. Oh, wow. And then one of my homeboys, he thought I was playing around, but then I wasn't. Mm. And so they called 911 and they did a, the procedures, you know, the, the um, you know, like the, you know, hyper, you know, the um, mouth to mouth and everything. Mm. And so um, they took me to the hospital and then um, this was in Greenville too. So Greenville from Charlotte back then was like four hours. Wow, South Carolina or North Carolina? North Carolina. Be about at at most maybe three and a half because they got like a lot of highways and stuff now. Mm -hmm. but back then, uh, um, and so um, my mom and dad they they got they didn't get there till like that early 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 morning. Mm -hmm. But during the time period, um, a lot of my friends, the school was notified, and so a lot of my classmates was at the hospital oh, wow. and stuff too and uh i was in a coma for 30 days oh wow i couldn't i couldn't when i woke up i couldn't walk i couldn't talk i couldn't do anything mm, you I had said to learn. it was like an amazing recovery yes it's, it's, it's amazing the doctors was so great and um you know thank god i mean you know and the, and i liked how the doctors were also god you know, caring, and they oh, were wow. Christians too. You know, they, mm -hmm. you know, they wanted to pray for me, and they just. Um, it was kind of funny because one of the stories was like, um, one of the nurses. You know, they were. I know. I know nurses have to be kind of matter of fact. You know, they can't really. But, um, but she was kind of like, well, you know, he's only, you know, you know, not really. You know, she was pretty pessimistic or whatever. Okay. And the funny thing is. When I finally woke out of out of a coma, she was the nurse I woke up to. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. That's what my mom told me. Okay. And stuff too, so. I just thought it was amazing because you was like, if they if they hadn't have found you, what made them come in to, to check on you? Well, the thing is, it's like, I remember, um, but it is okay. My homeboy was like, we were just, like I said, we just got back to my apartment from a, a meeting. And so instead of them both going to the parking to to take the shuttle to the to the student car parking lot, uh -huh. you know, he told one of my other friends, "Well, you stay at the apartment, you stay here. I'll get the car and I'll come back and scoop you up." Instead oh, of wow. them both having to take the shuttle to the to the to the distant parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so if they both would have left, I wouldn't be here. Wow, yeah, look how so, God just yeah. automatically intervened. Yes, and just, uh -huh. It's like you got to do something different. Wow. Yeah, so, so if it wasn't for, you Like know, he changed that situation. Exactly, yeah. To create an or orchestrate that mm -hmm. so that yeah, so, they could find you just in time. 
it's just, it's just so it was just so planned and just a lot of the things in my life that I'm looking back and it's just like it's just too you know maybe the first couple of situations people could say oh that's kind of ironic but after the fifth and sixth that ain't ironic mm-hmm. that's God that's that all is. I got from right. God you know yeah. just everything from my process with vocational services um, you know when I went back to school how when the, the year I went back to school, actually a lot of, like a lot of my close 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 friends also started grad school, oh, wow. and so they was on campus with me. It's just, and everybody was like in school together. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so it's just, it's definitely. He sent you. It seems like he sent you, like a lot of support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? definitely. You know, he just had the right people around me mm-hmm. and stuff too. You know. And helped you along the way. It's mm-hmm. like he's always been there for you. Right. And a lot of times, in most cases, he is. He will be. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just part of his word. He says he'll always be there for us. And um, it's kind of hard to trust God, you know, when you who you know when you can't see God. But mm-hmm. it, who can deny him? How can you deny right. him? Right. And you know, the thing is, now I'm, you know, I'm now I just I feel like I don't. I'm I'm kind of like a I'm kind of like a peer counselor to other to other uh, people with brain injury because wow. I'm I'm very I'm very um, comfortable in my you know I'm almost I had my injury about twenty years mm-hmm. you know almost older than how how old I am you know okay and stuff too so it, ain't you? <laughs> I, yeah so I, I you know and so it's a that's a blessing you know because you know. Um, and so I have experienced, I have all, I have felt all the emotions of the process of, oh, wow. you know, feeling, you know, feeling um, when it comes to feeling, you know, feeling part of the group or everything. I mean, everything, all, everything I experienced. And so it's, it's, it changes your life. Exactly. So mm-hmm. to get back to like being yourself again right and the thing is a lot of people got to remember this is so 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 important thing is whoever you were before your injury is not who you are now oh wow it's like a reborn it's like reborn like when you reborn like Mm -hmm. when you when you get saved yeah it's the same thing and the thing is people got to understand that just because you were like this before it may be different you may you probably have totally different outlooks uh-huh. you may th- like look at to- things totally different uh-huh. you may not like the same thing you okay. may grow up. i mean the thing is it and, but it's kind of hard because some of your friends and peers not intentionally mm-hmm. may still want to clump you into the j sean back in 2001 before yeah pr- okay. pr- you know pr- pre-injury okay but you're a different person now Mm-hmm. And so sometimes people have to learn to adapt mm-hmm. and kind of, you know, and if they're real friends, they will mm-hmm. understand. They will. Yeah. They'll yeah. be right there. Mm-hmm. They they never leave. Real friends never leave. Mm-mm. You no. know what I'm saying? They, they'll they take their time. They're patient with you. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, it's, and, you know, and it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a process, you know, and. Um, like emotionally and mentally. Uh, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, like you can talk about it now because you've overcome it. Yes, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you overcame that part. But how was it? Like, you went through depression. Yeah, I'm. You know, I went through depression because it's like I went through different phases. Because like, um, okay, first phase was un- unawareness because I didn't know what it was or whatever. And then, you know, this was like within like. A couple months after I um, woke up, I still didn't understand what happened. Oh, you wow. know, I didn't know, I didn't comprehend, I didn't know, I didn't even, I didn't really even understand what an aneurysm was till maybe like a year oh, wow. afterwards because I never heard about it before. Mm-hmm. And then it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of funny because shortly after I woke up, I was telling people that you know people asked me what happened. I was like, I got in a car accident. Mm-hmm. I thought that was. That's what the, that was the last thing I remembered when I woke out of the coma. So you didn't even remember the the headache. Mm-mm. You didn't know anything everything, about that. Everything I said it was from people. I don't remember my apartment. I don't remember anything about my senior year. Oh wow! 
I this was your senior year in high school? Oh, college. College. Mm-hmm. Wow. I can't remember any of it. I can't remember how my apartment looked. I don't remember. I, re- I recall certain things, mm-hmm. but if it wasn't, but if it wasn't brought up to me, or if it wasn't mentioned to me, I wouldn't know anything about that. So I mean, but so because you don't remember it, you don't feel like you've lost anything, do you? It's just like an adjustment you have to get used to, right? Well, I feel I think it's one of those things that if somebody brings it up to you, mm-hmm. then it's just like, oh, you know. Mm-hmm. But if it's like out of sight, out of mind, mm-hmm. and so if it's if you know if it if nobody know about something, then and I don't remember it, then it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if something happened and then I'm like, oh, really? Oh, okay. You know, and so it's just like, dang, I wish I could remember that. Mm-hmm. You know, right. stuff too. You know, it just, it makes good as to have a good sense of humor. You know, I'm always a goofball, you know, and stuff too. So it's kind of like, fun. yeah, and stuff like, I know I used to be like, okay. Um, my friends, you know, we got a sense of humor. We're like, oh, Jay Shaw, you remember you did, you did, you did owe me $25 too. You know, if you got... And I'm like, oh, really? Oh, okay, here you go. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> like, because you won't remember yeah. if you did or not. And he's trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. You got a sense of humor about yeah. it because a lot of people don't know how to move on from something tragic. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. It is hard. Sometimes it does. it is a process, and it does take you some, some use to get into. What did you do to get you through that? Because I know those moments when your friends went, like, wasn't there, and you was just like, Thinking about it sometimes, it's, it's, and it did. I mean, it's to me. I don't think it's that bad. When you look at Jay Sean, there's nothing wrong with him. Mm-hmm. But what were you feeling inside? Like, how did you get through with that? It was like I said. I went. I I came a long way. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was very severe. I only had they. They only gave me a ten percent chance of living. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it was severe. I mean, I had. I was basically in in house. I basically lived at in the hospital. That was God. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So tell me this. Mm-hmm. How did you get through once you realized and you started going through the fact that now you can't live life the same, you can't be as free? Right. Um, I, what got you through those periods? You know what I mean? Um, actually, you know, it's kind of funny going to church and being involved with church. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a, I was, I used to go to church prior to my injury, but I was just like a social church goer. I would go with somebody invited me, but mm-hmm. I didn't have no church or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so when uh, one of my best friends, Leah, she, she, during this time, she left her church because of something. And so she started going to um, Elevation mm-hmm. and she was like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here. I just feel like, but God, wants me here and she wasn't you know she wasn't really feeling it but she was just like but God is giving her you know and telling her to, to go there and so um then the one time like she's like Did you get through with that it was like I said I went I I came a long way mm-hmm. I mean I was in the church before my injury because then it's like because I felt like I wasn't able to really comprehend a lot of stuff because the Bible was pretty you know kind mm-hmm. of kind of hard at times mm-hmm. and stuff too so it was like I don't understand I don't can't remember and everything mm-hmm. and so going to elevation it was just like oh my god because it was so it was very very is easy it was easier for me to yeah. understanding the teaching it was just like relatable it was basically like teaching like bible lessons oh, wow. and stuff and so it was I was able to actually understand that I was actually able to recall um recall the sermons um and then even even after that even and then when i'm going to other churches like my grandma's church or something like that it will really help me out because like i know exactly what they're talking about mm-hmm. oh, okay i see you see uh, you know i'm not lost no more i know exactly mm-hmm. what that's talking about and i'm able to comprehend or get the idea about the preaching mm-hmm. and, it, and i'm and i'm and so I'm not zoning out. I'm more like, okay, I'm engaged mm-hmm. or whatever. Maybe because I'm gluten. Because like, oh, I know this. <laughs> yeah, because those Bible studies do help down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you get into, like, once you read it and then you come to church, it used to be, for me, it was yeah. like what I read that week before. Mm-hmm. Once I get to church, 
my pastor would preach on it and then yeah. I would have a clear understanding. And I'd be mm-hmm. like, who told him I read that this right, week? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how did he know I was reading that? Well, it's just like, it's a, it, to me, it just seemed like, like every Sunday, it just seemed like, like your, your pastor have a service. But then the list of service that you heard on the, on the radio or somebody else was talking about the same thing. Mm-hmm. It just seemed like it always happened with me. It's yeah. just kind of like, wait a minute, they talking about the same thing that mm-hmm. my pastor talked about or today or last week or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? definitely. You know, he just had the right people around me mm-hmm. and stuff too, you know. And, and helped so, you along the way. It's mm-hmm. like he's always been there for you. Right. And a lot of times, in most cases, he is. He will be. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just part of his word. He says he'll always be there for us. And um, it's kind of hard to trust God, you know, when you who, you know when you can't see God. But mm-hmm. it, who can deny him? How can you right. deny him? Right. And the thing is, a lot of people got to remember this. It's so, 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 so important thing is, whoever you were, before your injury is not who you are now. Oh wow! It's like a reborn. It's like reborn. Like when you reborn. Like mm-hmm. when you when you get saved. Yeah. It's the same thing. And the thing is, people gotta understand that just because you were like this before, it may be different. You may you probably have totally different outlooks. Uh-huh. You may th- like look at to- things totally different. Uh-huh. You may not like the same thing. You okay. may grow. Out. I mean, the thing is. It, and, but it's kind of hard because some of your friends and peers, not intentionally, mm-hmm. may still want to clump you into the J. Sean back in 2001. Before? Yeah. Pr- okay. Pr- you know, pr- pre-injury. Okay. But you're a different person now. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes people have to learn to adapt mm-hmm. and kind of, you know, and if they're real friends, they will mm-hmm. understand. They will. Yeah, they'll yeah. be right there. Mm-hmm. They they never leave. real friends never leave. Mm-mm. You no. know what I'm saying? They they'll take their time. They're patient with you. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And it's, and you know and it's just it's a it's a, it's a process. Oops. You know. That means your faith should not lie in the hands of man, but in the power of God. Do you have anything that you want to say to anybody? Anything that you want? Um, them to know any encouraging words, anything, period. You know what I mean? Like, that you want to share, anything you want to tell somebody. Mm-hmm. I would say, um, don't, don't question what's, what's, what, what you're going through in life because it was for a reason. It's a, it was a test. And God won't let it get. He knows what you. He he knows what he's doing, mm-hmm. and so and he knows how much you can do. Mm-hmm. And it's up to you to, to, to you know to show him how strong you are. And he will. He will definitely. Um. Pay, you know he'll definitely bless you if he sees that you're really working out. And see, I like how God had used this disability my injury for the blessing of me being, you know, I've been in like 10 different videos. I've been in like police training videos. I've been in um, radio shows. I've been in newspaper articles. I've been in magazine articles. Wow. I've been a lot of stuff. I mean, God, and so it's just, God, I'm a vessel, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm glad you're able to identify that mm-hmm. because you have your own show that you, you used to do it on TV. But like, are you doing anything in the community, or is this is this what you're doing now? You're you're reaching out to people that have gone through the same. Uh, yeah, I, I used to, um, you know, before Corona or whatever, you know, it kind of helped a whole uh, um, setback. But I used to, um, you know, I used to go to, I used to speak at a lot of conferences or. Um, medical conferences and um, um, seminars mm-hmm. about brain injury mm-hmm. awareness and stuff too. So, oh, wow. and I'm glad that they actually um, thought about me because of you know with my major being a, a, a broadcasting major. Okay, I was very comfortable with talking about what happened to you mm-hmm. and how they go. Yeah, educating good. people. Well, that is good mm-hmm. educating people. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Well, all right. I am so blessed to have you on the show. This worked out, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, I am so you. glad. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jay Sean Getty in the studio. He came to spread the word. Thank you. Share his much. message. Because, see, it's all about, it's never about us in the first place. We got to learn how to get back to that place where we're giving God the glory and mm -hmm. not forget where we came from. Because mm -hmm. none of this, none of anything that we ever do was done out of our own strength. It's like when we get there, though, we forget all of the, mm -hmm. the, the basics. We right. forget who made things happen. We forget who brings us this far. We forget mm -hmm. who heals us. We forget right. who delivered us. We forget who moved in the situation that we were in before. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. And it's always God mm -hmm. to, that will remind us no matter where. And we do need a reminder because we were not created for ourselves. We weren't created to glorify earth, people, mm -hmm. we idolatry. We weren't, we weren't created for that. So I'm so glad that you were able to come on and, again, tell us about your show because you do have a show. I've seen it on YouTube. Did you, was it on Facebook? Uh, I think I posted a link to it on Facebook mm -hmm. when it was when it aired some years ago. But mm -hmm. um, it's called um, The Voice of Brain Injury. Okay. And um, it's about um, the first episode is interviewing my my um my first boss at the radio station. Okay. And he talks about, I talk about myself and my, you know, my journey. And then he also kind of talks to some of the, um, the people that, the, um, the, um, the employers about maybe some of the things that you may want to, you know, that, you know, that you, that may, may be helpful to know mm -hmm. when, when dealing with somebody with a brain injury. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and some of the things that we use or some of the devices and help that mm -hmm. he did incorporate with me with, when it comes to me adapting to work. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. And it's called The Voice of Brain Injury. It was on, what, Access 21? Yeah, it's actually on um, YouTube now. See? Yeah, so I got my um, got me a YouTube channel okay. is, and I am trying to produce another another episode that's going to be my first podcast see I was going to ask you what else new was you getting ready yeah. to do because you did the, the series on Access mm -hmm. 21 on TV yeah so the next episode is going to be a podcast and I heard that was successful so yeah so that's really, I'm looking forward to that well that's all right well thank you for coming and sharing my space and thank telling you. us about your stuff. All right, thank you. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Again, you can catch Jay Sean. He's on YouTube. You have a website or anything you want to share or book um, or anything? Um my my email is jayshawn.gaddy. Okay. J A S H U N G A D D Y at gmail dot com. All right. And then I can if you want to, I could um and anybody that emails me, I can um send out a lot of my um, you know, videos. I have quite a bit of things. Yeah, so you can share that. Well we will yeah. definitely keep that posted. Um we will definitely post that information at the end of this broadcast. Again, thank you so much for all of your support. Again, stay safe and be blessed. Until next time, and remember, your faith should not lie in the hands of man, but in the power of God.